For R&B star Chris Brown, getting in trouble has become part of his brand. After spending last night behind bars and being back in court today for allegedly assaulting him, it was hardly surprising to see legions of his fans waiting outside for a glimpse of their beloved accused. But will there be a point where he crosses a line, where even they say enough is enough? Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. He's been labeled hip hop's bad boy. And while hit after hit continue to play out over the airwaves, the headlines keep coming too. Just a few hours ago, Chris Brown left his D.C. courthouse among a throng of screaming fans and flashing lights. Last night, the 24-year-old entertainer spent the night in a Washington, D.C. jail cell after allegedly punching a man in the nose. Brown and his bodyguard were arrested after allegedly attacking 20-year-old Parker Adams. The fight broke out around 4.30 Sunday morning, just a few blocks away from the White House. The alleged victim telling police he and a friend were at the W Hotel when they saw Chris Brown and tried to jump into a photo with him. Chris went nuts, he says. In the police incident report, the alleged victim says the singer said, I'm not down with that gay expletive. I feel like boxing. Brown then punched Parker in the face. According to the report, Brown's bodyguard then threw a second punch. Tonight, Chris Brown pled not guilty. His camp claiming the victim was trespassing, trying to get on Brown's tour bus, and that Brown's bodyguard simply tried to stop him. The only time that you can punch someone in the face is when you reasonably fear death or great bodily harm yourself. This video, posted on Brown's YouTube page, shows Brown shortly before the incident, inside a nightclub where he'd been hosting a party. I think it's becoming a large part of Chris Brown's DNA. For an R&B singer, it's unusual for us to see him be as bad um, or as uh, news as we've seen him. But I'm not surprised each time I see another Chris Brown infraction. This is just the latest in a slew of bad boy antics. His temper first came to light in 2009 when he was infamously convicted of assaulting the singer, his then girlfriend, Rihanna. It happened the night before the Grammy Awards. He famously apologized to Rihanna and his fans. I felt it was time that you heard directly from me that I am sorry. I have tried to live my life in a way which can make those around me proud of me. And until recently, I think I was doing a pretty good job. The restraining order against And you, not even two years had, later, uh, another incident been... when he threw a chair in the studio of Good Morning America. Last June, there was the bottle-throwing bar brawl inside a New York City nightclub involving the entourages of both Brown and hip-hop star Drake. This January, he and R&B star Frank Ocean allegedly duped it out over a parking spot. In May, he was accused of a hit-and-run. Charges were either never filed or were dropped in each of these incidents. Without question, it looks like trouble seems to follow him. And one would argue at some point, after the third or fourth time, it would look like his actions seem to bring problems to him. I think that the more bad behavior that goes unpunished, the more bad behavior we'll see. In a world where stars often meet controversy, celebrities often see the perks of maintaining popularity even after scandals erupt. He's been nominated for nine Grammys and won one since 2009 with his incident with Rihanna. So he's definitely a moneymaker for them. He is selling albums. He's winning awards. So far, none of this bad behavior seems to have affected his music career. To the contrary, it seems his bad boy image has helped. Chris Brown's last two albums have topped the Billboard charts, and his fans can't seem to get enough. From his hits, Fine China, to Turn Up the Music. Bad behavior is typically curved when you see a loss in fans or a loss in revenue. If Chris Brown doesn't see either, it's likely he'll continue on this path. Uh, that we've seen him on. Charlie Sheen, who was convicted of assault charges in the past, and Kanye West, who was recently ordered to stay 10 yards away from a paparazzi after an altercation, have both managed to continue to have lucrative careers. Only time will tell if Chris Brown continues to be as fortunate. Christopher Brown committed no crime. We understand that his security 
acted to protect Mr. Brown and Mr. Brown's property as he is authorized to do under District of Columbia law. We are confident that Mr. Brown will be exonerated of any wrongdoing. The alleged victim, Adams, told TMZ he would have accepted an apology at the scene, but now plans to press charges and has already hired a lawyer. Well, I will not describe the injuries at this juncture. What we will do is we will allow the situation to occur. Injuries did occur. The issue is going to be whether prosecutors can prove that what he did is a violation of D.C. law. If that's the case, then he's subject to a violation in Los Angeles where he could get up to four years in prison. For the 2009 incident, Brown was sentenced to more than 1,400 hours of community service and five years of probation. In this day and age of reality television, we're seeing that bad behavior is becoming widely accepted and even fueled in many cases. The more celebrities are embraced for their behavior, the more they're going to think that that's exactly what the public wants to see. And even if this most recent arrest doesn't lead to a conviction, it could still be considered probation violation and possible prison time for the man many now know for his swinging as much as his singing. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York. Well, when it comes to the court of public opinion, i.e. his fans, it seems guilty or not, this incident probably won't hurt him. Thanks, Lindsay. Next.